Since antiquity, people have enjoyed collecting objects of all kinds, ranging from ancient artifacts to exotic plant specimens and more. Some early museums began as private collections that were owned by wealthy, powerful people. They tried to impress others with what came to be known as cabinets of curiosities, wonder rooms, and wunderkammer. Today, you don't have to be rich to visit a museum. Many of them are open to the public and almost anyone can access them for the price of admission. UNESCO estimates there are 55,000 museums across the world today, and the good news is now there are a wide variety of museums that cater to a wide range of tastes. 10. Matchstick Marvels Museum, Gladbrook, Iowa This museum showcases the work of Patrick Acton, an artist who has used millions of matchsticks and large amounts of glue for his creations. Over the years, his detailed scale models of the International Space Station, Notre Dame Cathedral, and other famous subjects have attracted worldwide attention. Some of his models have appeared on ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition, PBS, and in several Ripley's Believe It or Not museums across the world. The Matchstick Marvels Museum features some of Acton's matchstick models, model drawings and plans, model making tools and equipment, and a video documentary. 9. Burnt Food Museum, Arlington, Massachusetts This private museum is dedicated to a common kitchen mishap, burning food. Started in the late 1980s by musician Deborah Henson Conant, it proudly displays once edible food that has sometimes been charred beyond recognition, including toast, waffles, potatoes, and even some burned citrus. The museum also welcomes submissions of accidentally burned food for its exhibit. A food website called The Daily Meal states that a few times a year, the exhibit opens to public viewing. However, if you can't wait for those public events, you can arrange for a private 90-minute interactive group tour of the museum that will allow you and up to nine other people to see the burnt food for yourself for a mere $3,500. 8. Museum of Broken Relationships, Zagreb, Croatia The Museum of Broken Relationships provides proof that love does not always last. When it fails, this museum is ready to collect your story and souvenirs of the soured romantic relationship for its permanent and online collections. You can peruse some of the bizarre items saved by people who were once in love, such as a 27-year-old wound crust or skin scab from an ex-lover who was in an accident. 7. MUSA Underwater Museum of Art, Cancun, Mexico Also known as the Museo Subaquatico de Art, MUSA differs from many art museums because it's completely submerged on the waters off of Cancun. According to National Geographic, MUSA's oceanic art doubles as an artificial reef specially designed to promote the growth of coral. It's 500 life-size sculptures of everything from people to houses and even bombs are attached to the seafloor, so diving and snorkeling are the best way to see them. If you don't know how to dive or snorkel, glass-bottom boat tours are also available. 6. The National Pooh Museum, Sundown Isle of Wight, United Kingdom This museum features a wide variety of poo, including poo from wild animals such as lions and some human poo. The poo has been dried and encapsulated in resin balls, so you don't have to touch or smell it. An Atlas Obscura article states that this museum also displays what is considered to be some of the oldest excrement in the world, fossilized droppings dating back 140 million years. Besides the exhibits, the museum strives to change people's attitudes about poo. Its website describes how poo is all around us but we ignore it, and how the museum's mission is to lift the lid on the secret world of poo to examine our relationship with it and to change forever the way we think about this amazing substance. According to its website, the National Poo Museum is temporarily closed but will occasionally open as a plop-up poo museum at their headquarters on Brown's Golf Course in Sandown. Plans are in the works for a permanent location that is also located in Sandown, Isle of Wight. 5. Icelandic Phallological Museum, Reykjavik, Iceland Satisfy your curiosity about male sex organs across the animal kingdom with a visit to the Icelandic Phallological Museum. The museum is home to a collection of more than 200 penises and penile parts belonging to almost all the land and sea mammals that can be found in Iceland, according to the museum website. Along with a wide range of whale, seal, and land mammal specimens, the museum displays four human penises that were legally certified gift tokens as well. The staff at the museum share their sense of humor about the contents of their biological collection, with another collection featuring a phallic lampshade and other phallic artistic oddments and practical utensils. You can even buy things like a phallic keyring, designer condoms, and willy warmers in their online gift shop. 4. Megaro Parasitological Museum, Tokyo, Japan 
The Meguro Parasitological Museum is a private research facility that contains a vast collection of 60,000 parasite specimens, as well as thousands of papers and books about parasites and parasitic diseases. Its museum exhibits take up two floors of its facility and feature about 300 parasite specimens and supplemental information about them. While the first floor explores what the museum website calls the diversity of parasites, the second floor will probably make some people squirm because it's dedicated to human and zoonotic parasites. You will learn about what parasites infect humans, how they live and breed inside of you while you're infected, and the symptoms you'll experience when they do. According to an Atlas Obscura article, the prize attraction of the museum is undoubtedly the world's longest tapeworm, all 8.8 meters of it, accompanied by a rope the same length that you can play with to get a real feel for its dimensions. 3. The Museum of Human Disease Sydney, Australia you may wonder how any of us stay alive after visiting the Museum of Human Disease, which is located on the campus of the University of New South Wales, Sydney. Its collection of over 2,000 specimens of diseased human tissue presents some of the numerous medical calamities that could befall people, including gangrene, appendicitis, and malignant brain tumors. There are also specimens revealing the long-term effects of unhealthy behaviors, such as smoking, heavy drinking, and drug abuse. Some of the tissue samples are over 100 years old, according to the museum website. 2. Plastinarium, Gubin, Germany The Plastinarium features bodies preserved with the process of plastination, an embalming technique patented by physician Gunther von Hagens. Plastination is a gruesome process that involves removing skin, fatty tissue, connective tissue, and water from a corpse and using polymers and other chemicals to stop its decay. The body is also cured to harden the polymers and complete the preservation process. You can see bodies and body parts being plastinated at the museum lab, if you can stomach watching the procedure. Over the years, Von Hagens and his team of scientists have plastinated wild animals, such as giraffes and ostriches. But it's the plastinated human specimens positioned in various lifelike poses that have attracted the most attention both at the museum and in Von Hagen's Body Worlds Traveling Exhibition. The human specimens have raised ethical concerns. In 2004, for instance, a Guardian article reported that Von Hagen's agreed to return seven corpses to China after admitting that the bodies used in his exhibitions might have come from executed prisoners. Another source notes that there has been a good amount of debate on the ethics involved with twisting and warping post-mortem remains into such a creepy sideshow of the macabre, and the show has faced its fair share of lawsuits and controversy. 1. Siriraj Medical Museum, Bangkok, Thailand This museum is actually a complex of six small museums located in Siriraj Hospital, and it's not for the faint of heart. Not all of the exhibitions are shocking, but there are enough disturbing displays to earn it the nickname of the Museum of Death. For example, the Congdon Anatomical Museum contains specimens of dead, deformed babies, such as conjoined twins with the skin cut away so you can see their internal organs. The Song Kran Nayom Sane Forensic Medicine Museum is particularly creepy. According to Paste Magazine, it displays dead people and the things that killed them. Some of the unsettling things you can see in this museum include the preserved head of an unidentified man who was beheaded in an automobile accident and the blood-stained clothing of murder victims. A well-known display in this museum is the mummified body of Si Gui, a Chinese immigrant turned serial killer and rapist who allegedly ate the livers and hearts of his victims. One travel website notes that the forensic museum also houses the skeleton of the museum's founder, Dr. Songkran Nayom Sane. Do you know of a weird museum that should be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called The Scary Internet Websites You Should Never Visit. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.